Hi, welcome to English Composition. I am Michael Chang. I'm here with Cher Chen today. 各位同学，大家好，欢迎回来英文作文课程。我是 Cher. All right, today we are going to write an essay that's a description of a person. And to do this, we're going to watch an actual interview with a person, and then we are going to create an essay based on what we learn in that interview. 好，今天在这个单元里面呢，我们将要来描述一个人物哦。那为了要写这样的文章呢，我们等一下会看一篇人物专访。那在根据这个人物专访里面的内容，我们会写出我们的文章。All right, and our interview is going to be with Dr. Brian David Phillips, and you can remember him from English Composition One. And Dr. Phillips is my colleague at National Juncture University, and he's also an expert in hypnosis. 好，我们等一下的人物专访呢，要访问的是呃 ，Dr. Brian David Phillip。啊，各位同学可能还记得这一位这一位人物哦，他在英文作文一的时候也曾经出现过。那我们在英文作文一的时候曾经告诉各位同学，他是呃老师在政治大学的同事。那同时呢，这位 Brian Phillip 啊 ，Dr. Brian Phillip， 他也是这个在呃催眠方面的一个专家哦。All right, and so before we watch the interview, you should take your textbook and you should turn to page 99. And in writing activity number one, you can see that there are many questions that we will ask to Dr. Brian Phillips during our interview. And so you can use the blank space. You can see that there's some space, a little bit of space under each question. And you can just take some notes and write down some thoughts about what Dr. Phillips says. 好，待会我们来看这人物专访的时候呢，请各位同学拿起你的课本，翻到课本第九十九页，在第九十九页这地方哦，写作活动一的地方哦，你会看到我们在这个人物专访中会提出来的所有的问题。那在每个问题的下面都有一些空白的地方，请各位同学可以利用这空白的地方呢，哦，写下一些重点，把这个这个人物专访的内容哦，以重点的方式整理起来。All right, so let's watch the interview with Dr. Phillips now. 我们来看一下这一段人物专访。Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to introduce you to the famous master hypnotist, Dr. Brian David Phillips. Hi, Brian. How are you? I'm doing great, Sherry. And you? I'm doing fine. So, where are you from? I'm from America. Actually,、uh -huh. I'm from the middle of America in the state of Kansas. I see. 老师呢，刚刚说他是从美国的堪萨斯州来的。现在呢，我们来问一下他的职业。So, what do you do? In Taiwan, yes, I'm a professor of English、uh -huh. literature、uh -huh. at National Juncture University. Right. But I have a whole wide range of interests and passions. Uh huh. 老师说呢，他在台湾的职业呢是在正大当英语的教授，同时呢，他有很多兴趣跟爱好。那我们接下来问他，他最充满热情的兴趣是什么？嗯、uh, ，So Dr. Phillips, what interest are you most passionate about? A lot of things. My family、uh -huh. and hypnosis. I'm very extremely passionate about helping people with hypnosis. Great. 老师说呢，他有非常多的兴趣，但是呢，他最感到热情的就是他的家人。除此之外呢，他最喜欢的事情就是催眠。Okay, and、um, I've heard that you are one of the world's foremost experts on hypnosis. How did you become interested in hypnosis? When I was a little boy, I saw a TV show with、right. a very famous hypnotist,、uh -huh. and after that, I was hooked. I see. Then I took some training. And now I have my own comedy hypnosis show,、wow. and I teach hypnosis all over the world, in Taiwan, Malaysia, India, and many places in the United States. Wow, that sounds awesome! So, what did you do in your comedy? In my comedy shows, right? I invite members of the audience to come up so、uh -huh. that they can experience the power and magic of hypnosis themselves. Uh huh. Wow, that sounds fun. 老师说呢，他在美国、台湾，还有比如说像印度啊、马来西亚这些地方，他会训练一些刚成为催眠师的人，还有一些已经很有经验催眠的别人的一些催眠师。那他在台湾，除此之外呢，他还有一个喜剧的一个像是剧场哦，观众们可以自愿上台，可以体验到一些关于啊、呃、催眠的一些经验。
。好，那我们再来问他，如果需要成为成催眠师的话，要接受哪一些训练呢 ？So, Dr. Phillips, what sort of training does a person need to be a hypnotist? That depends what kind of hypnotist you want to be.、Uh -huh. If you want to use hypnosis for entertainment,、uh -huh. you don't need a lot of training to do that.、Right. You just need some basic skills,、uh -huh. and you also have to be an entertainer. Okay. But if you want to help people for hypnotherapy, you need to go through some rigorous training, and some counseling experience would be very, very good. I see. 老师刚刚说呢，如果只是为了要好玩娱乐的话呢，你只需要很一些很基本的小技巧。但是呢，如果你要成为职业的催眠师，你需要经过一些很专业的训练。那我们来问问看老师，催眠师呢可以在哪些方面帮助人们 ？What sort of things can hypnosis help people with? Well, hypnosis can help people reach their goals. Right.、Uh, you can overcome your problems, and you can even expand your mind. Wow. But hypnotherapy、uh -huh. can help people quit smoking.、Uh -huh. uh, you can learn better, and you can improve your health. 老师刚刚说呢，催眠呢，大致上呢，可以帮助人去克服一些困难，然后呢，可以学习。那如果是催眠的这种治疗法呢，可以帮你去除掉一些坏习惯，例如说像抽烟啊，或者是说，它可以帮助你去学习一件事情，用更有效率的方式。那我们再来问他下一个问题：嗯、um, ，Can anyone be hypnotized? Most people can be hypnotized. It's a It's an attribute, but、uh -huh. it's also a skill. So those people who have trouble at first with practice, they can get much better. 老师刚刚说呢，几乎每个人都可以受到催眠，只不过程度上的差异。有些人快一点，有些人呢则是需要一点点时间。那我们现在来问老师，就是这种治疗性的催眠，还有这种娱乐性的催眠，到底差异在哪里？ Um, Dr. Phillips, what is the difference between hypnotherapy and entertainment hypnosis? Well, if I'm doing hypnotherapy with someone, I can help them quit smoking or learn better, improve their health, or achieve their goals.、Uh, I train people in workshops to perform hypnotherapy so they can go into trance more deeply and bring others into trance states more deeply and quickly. I also train people to help others reach their goals or overcome problems with hypnotherapy. But in a sh hypnosis show, the volunteers are having fun,、mm -hmm. so they can experience powerful emotions and feelings like happiness and、uh -huh. pleasure, or they can experience what it's like to be a rock star,、uh -huh. or even animals like in the ocean、mm -hmm. or in the air.、Uh -huh. You can be a little fishy or a naughty、uh -huh. little monkey just for fun, though. I see. 老师呢，刚才说呢，在专业的催眠训练里面，他们呢会帮助这些催眠者更快，还有更深层的进入催眠状态。不过呢，如果只是娱乐性的催眠的话呢，他们只是让这些观众感觉到开心快乐，他们可能会想象说自己是一个超级巨星，或者是呢天上飞的鸟，或是地上游啊、呃，或是水里面游的鱼。好，啊、嗯，我们来谢谢他，这是一个非常精彩的的面谈。It was a great talk, and thanks for visiting, Dr. Phillips. Thank you for having me. Bye bye. Okay, we are going to take a little bit of a break now, and we will analyze this interview when we come back. 好，各位同学先休息一下，待会回来我们再仔细的来看看他们的专访。Welcome back. What we are going to do now is we're going to use the notes that we took when we were watching the interview, and we are going to complete activity two, which you can find on page one hundred of your textbook. 好，欢迎各位同学。好，我们现在呢要继续来呃仔细的分析一下刚刚我们看到的人物专访哦。那各位同学可以看一下课本的第一百页哦，这地方有我们的写作活动二哦。那我们会根据这个部分的问题来做这个讨论。All、right, and activity two is to draw a word web based upon the notes that you took. 好，我们可以看到哦，在练习这个活动二的部分呢，我们要做的事情哦，是根据你的笔记哦，利用画出单字网的方式来进行脑力激荡。All right, so now when we start our word web, 
we can just start by writing down something in the middle of a piece of paper and we would write the name of the person that we're interviewing, which is Dr. Brian David Phillips. 好,各位同學應該還記得,我們在做這個所謂的單字網的時候呢,要做的第一件事就是拿一張紙,然後再紙的正中央,我們寫下這整個重點,最大的一個重點。那當然這篇人物專訪它的重點就是這位受到專訪
you would see there are a lot of details on this uh, word web that we have, and I will put an example. I put this example of the word web up on the web page later. 好，那像各位同学看到的这些细节哦，那之后老师会把它放在这堂课的这个网页上面，请各位同学再上网页去看。All right, so now we are ready to go on to activity three. And in activity three, we will choose the most interesting ideas and use uh, from our word web, and we'll use these ideas to make an outline for our paper. 好，我们接下来呢，我们来做做看这个活动三的部分。活动三的部分呢，要求我们从我们刚刚所写出来的单字网中去选出最感兴趣的一个想法，然后我们才能够来写作这个大纲哦，来写作这主体段落。All right, so now let's take a look at our complete word web again. And you can see from here that there are two main topics in this interview. One is about teaching hypnosis. 好，我们可以在这个现在我们在画面上可以看到，在这个人物专访里面呢，它其实有两个很大的重点哦。第一个讲到的是在教学催眠的这个部分。All right, and then the other big topic is about the comedy hypnosis show. 那另外一个很大的重点呢，讲到的则是这个呃这个催眠秀的部分哦。And then we can also see there's a small section about Dr. Phillips' background. 啊，同时我们还可以看到，其实还有一小个部分呢，哦，是在专注在讨论这位 Doctor 他的一些背景资讯。And so for our out for our essay, then we can concentrate on two main topics. One is how Dr. Phillips teaches hypnosis, and the second topic is how he has a hypnosis show. 好，那根据我们刚刚的分析呢，我们知道我们的短文中哦，我们可以专注在两个大主题上面。第一个主题呢，讲的是这呃 ，Dr. Brian Phillip 他是怎么样去教催眠的。那另外一个主题呢，我们可以讲到他怎么样去进行他的催眠秀。All right, so now let's start making an outline, and we can choose the topic for our first body paragraph, which is Dr. Phillips trains people in hypnosis. 好，我们现在可以开始写作我们的大纲喽。那我们可以写下我们的第一句这个 topic 哦。那我们写到是，呃、uh, ，Dr. Philip， 他是训练人们来进行催眠术。All right, and now we can add some details to this outline, and so we can、um, look back at the interview, we can think back at the interview, and add some more details. 好，我们的下一步呢？哦，各位同学应该还记得，下一步我们接下来要加入一些细节跟一些例子。那各位同学可以回想一下刚刚在人物专访中讲过的、哦。那我们来把例子加进来。All right, and so these are some of the things Dr. Phillips said during the interview. 好，那我们现在可以看到的呢，这些就是在刚刚呃专访里头他有提到的一些细节。First, he said he trains people from the following countries: Taiwan, India, Malaysia, and the USA. 好，他第一个他有提到说，他是这个训练世界各地的人哦，来来进行这个催眠秀，好像是台湾啊、印度啊、马来西亚哦，以及是这个呃呃美国。All right, another detail is he said he trains people to get into trance deeply and quickly. 好，第二点他提到的是，他训练人们去进入催眠状态哦，很快，而且进入很深的催眠状态。All right, and then he also said he helps people quit smoking, learn better, improve their health, reach goals, and overcome problems. 另外，他也提到呢，他可以帮助人们哦去戒掉抽烟啊，然后学习的更好，或是增加呃增进他们的这健康哦，那达成他们的目标去克服困难。All right, and then now let's look at the details that we can put into our second body paragraph. And our topic here is Dr. Phillips has a comedy hypnosis show. 好，我们现在看到的呢是第二个大主题哦。那我们可以写出这样子一个 topic。我们写说 ，Dr. Philip 他也有自己的这个呃、uh, 催眠秀。And then some of the details that we can put in are first, he volunteers experience hypnosis. 好，那我们看到的一些细节包括了哦， uh, 第一个，这些呃、uh, 自愿者他可以感自愿的去感受这一些催眠秀。All right, another detail is they feel happiness and pleasure. 第二个提到的是这些催眠呃被催眠的这些志愿者，他们都会觉得很快乐。And the last detail is that you can feel like a rock star or an animal. 好，第二个第三点呢，他还有提到说，他可以哦帮你成为一个大明星哦，那甚至是感觉自己像是一只野兽一样。All right, let's take a little bit of a break now, and when we come back, we'll do some more of the writing activities. 好，我们现在先休息一下，待会回来我们再继续。
All right, welcome back. We are going to begin working on activity four now. 好，欢迎各位同学回来。我们现在要继续看的是练习四。All right, in activity four, we're going to plan our introduction. 好，练习四的部分呢，我们要做的事情是开始撰写所谓的开场白哦。All right, so now there are some questions that we need to think about, and the first question is, what is the main idea about the interview that you want to express? 好，那我们可以来想一想以下的几个问题哦。第一个问题，大家在画面上看到的，关于这场面谈，你最想表达的主要想法是什么呢 ？Right, so let's emphasize these following ideas. First of all, that Dr. Phillips is very passionate about hypnosis. 好，那我们会可以呃特别去重视的几个重点哦。第一点，这个 Dr. Philip 他对于催眠非常的感兴趣。And then we'll also emphasize why he is passionate passionate about hypnosis. 第二点，我们也同时该提到为什么他对于催眠这么的感兴趣。And what he does with hypnosis. 第三点，他对于催眠这部分他做了些什么。Now let's answer question two, which is what information do you need to put into your thesis statement? 第二个问题，有哪一些讯息是需要被放在主旨叙述中的呢？ And then we can put these ideas into our thesis statement that Dr. Phillips thinks that hypnosis can help people. 好，我们可以放入以下几个重点哦。第一点 ，Dr. Phillips 他觉得催眠可以帮助人们。Dr. Phillips teaches hypnosis. 第二点 ，Dr. Phillips 他教学哦催眠。And then finally, Dr. Phillips has a hypnosis show. 第三点 ，Dr. Phillips 他拥有自己的呃催眠 show。All right, now let's go on and answer question three, which is what background information does your audience need to reach your thesis statement? 第三个问题，在阅读主旨叙述之前，你的读者需要知道哪一些资讯呢 ？All right, and we think that you need to know a little bit about Dr. Phillips' background information. 好，我们也觉得呢，在开始读之前哦，你应该先知道关于这个 Dr. Phillips 的一些背景资讯。All right now, we're going to skip over activity five, and we are going to go on to activity six, which is to plan our conclusion. 好，我们先跳过练习五，我们现在进行到练习六。这部分是要如何去撰写结尾？ And we can do this by answering the following questions. Question one is, how can you re-emphasize the main idea of your essay? 好，我们来回答第一个问题哦。第一个问题是，你要如何再次强调文章的主题呢？ And we can do this by reviewing why Dr. Phillips likes hypnosis so much. 好，我们可以借由再一次去提起为什么呃 Dr. Phillips 他这么喜欢催眠，哦，来帮助大家来强调文章的主题。Question two is, do you want to summarize the main ideas? 第一个问题，你想要再概述本文的主题吗 ？All right, so let's not do it this time. 好，我们这次不这么做。All right, and so instead, let's look at question three. Do you have any special opinion that you want to express at the end of your essay? 好，我们来看看第三个问题。他问到的是，在文章的最后，你是否有任何特殊的意见想要表达呢 ？And so let's use our conclusion to emphasize the benefits of hypnosis. 好，我们又借由这个机会啊，我们再一次的来强调呃进行催眠的一些益处。And so we could say, for example, that it can help you to improve your health or learning. 好，我们可以提到第一点，比如说它可以帮助你哦，改进你的这个健康跟你的学习。Or else you can experience something new. 同时，你也可以去经历一些特别的经验。All right, so now let's go on to activity seven, and this is to write your essay. 好，我们进行到这个练习七的部分，这部分呢已经开始真正撰写文章了。And then after that, we have activity eight. 好，我们进行到练习八。And this is to put your essay away for a day or two, and then go back and reread it and revise it. 好，练习八的部分呢，建议我们哦，写完文章之后呢，先将文章闲置一两天，然后再把文章拿出来重新再读一次。Right. So, and also you want to make sure you can find ways to improve your essay, fix any mistakes that you find. 好，在拿出来读的时候呢，你可以改正里头的错误，以及加强不够清楚的一些描述。All right, so now our essay is finished, and we are going to take a look at our writing model now. 好，那我们现在来看看我们已经写完的写作范例。Dr. Brian David Phillips is an American from Kansas that works in Taiwan as a professor of English. Dr. Brian Phillips is a person who is from the United States. He is now a professor of English. 
Although he has an interest and expertise in literature, he also has many other wide-ranging interests and passions that make him unique. 虽然他呃在文学方面有很强的兴趣跟专业，他同时也拥有其他的广泛的兴趣和一些喜好，这让他显得与众不同。One subject that he is most passionate about is hypnosis. Dr. Phillips is one of the world's foremost experts on hypnosis. 其中有一项他最感兴趣的是催眠。Dr. Phillips 是世界上最顶尖的专家之一。Dr. Phillips believes hypnosis can help people reach their goals, overcome problems, and expand their minds. Dr. Phillips 相信催眠可以帮助人们去达成他们的目标、解决问题以及去扩展他们的视野。Therefore, he works as both a teacher of hypnosis to train people and a stage hypnotist to entertain an audience. So he now is a hypnotist to train people to do hypnosis. He is also a hypnotist to entertain the audience. Dr. Phillips has trained both novice and experienced hypnotists in America and across Asia in countries like Taiwan, India, and Malaysia. Dr. Phillips has 已经教了很多的呃新手以及有经验的这些催眠师啊，那他教学的的国家呢，遍及了美国，甚至是亚洲，像是台湾、印度及马来西亚。He trains his workshop participants to go into trance states more deeply and to bring others into trance states more deeply and quickly. 他训练他的这些呃成员哦，去进入催眠状态哦，能够。更深沉的进入睡眠状态，同时他也帮助他们啊，能够更快速的进入催眠状态。He also trains participants to help each other reach their goals or overcome problems through hypnotherapy. 同时，他也帮助训练这一些这个参与者去帮助别人去达成他们的目标，克服困难，要借由这个催眠治疗的方式。Phillips states that hypnotherapy can help people quit smoking, learn better, and improve their health. Dr. Philip 他提到说，催眠治疗可以帮助人们去戒掉吸烟，啊，学习的加加强学习以及帮助他们的这个健康。Dr. Phillips also has his own comedy stage hypnosis show in Taiwan. In his shows, volunteers from the audience get to experience hypnosis firsthand. Dr. Philip 他同时也在台湾拥有他自己的这个呃催眠表演，在他的表演里头，这些志愿上台的人他们会呃有这个第一手的催眠经验。After going into trance, the the volunteers get to experience new sensations and situations. 在进入催眠状态之后，这些志愿者他们将会感受到一个全新的一些的不一样的感受。For example, under hypnosis, they can feel powerful emotions and feelings like happiness and pleasure. 举例来说，在催眠状态下，他们可以感受到非常强烈的情绪，像是非常欢乐、非常欢愉。Or they can believe that they are rock stars on stage, or even wild animals in the ocean or air. 甚至他们可以相信他们自己是一个超级巨星，或者是他们是在这个呃、uh, 海洋或是天空中的一些野兽。Talk, Dr. Brian David Phillips believes that hypnosis is a wonderful thing that almost anyone can experience. Dr. Brian Phillips, he believes that hypnosis is a very good thing. Everyone can experience it. He encourages everyone to give it a try if they're looking for a way to improve their health or learning, or if they just want to have a safe way to get started with hypnosis. Dr. Brian Phillips, he believes that hypnosis is a very good thing. Everyone can experience it. He encourages everyone to give it a try if they're looking for a way to improve their health or learning, or if they just want to have a safe way to experience some new worlds or sensations. Dr. Brian Phillips, he believes that hypnosis is a very good thing. Everyone can experience it. He encourages everyone to give it a try if they're looking for a way to improve their health or learning, or if they just want to have a safe way to experience some new worlds or sensations. Dr. Brian Phillips, he believes that hypnosis is a very good thing. Everyone can experience it. He encourages everyone to give it a try if they're looking for a way to improve their health or learning, or if they just want to have a safe way to experience some new worlds or sensations. Dr. Brian Phillips, he believes that hypnosis is a very good thing. Everyone can experience it. He encourages everyone to give it a try if they're looking for a way to improve their health All right. So for your homework, you should write your own essay about this Dr. Brian David Phillips interview. And if you want more information about Dr. Phillips, you can go to his website, which is just www.briandavidphillips.com. 各位同学，如果想要更多的资讯，可以到 Dr. Brian Phillips 网站上面去看哦。All right. Thanks for joining us this week. We'll be back again in another week. 谢谢各位同学的参与，我们下周再见。